That's the worst one. <laughs> we didn't do this for long enough. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe a little longer. This is a disaster. The internet, they're just lying liars. It's perfect. Worst craft ever, maybe. <coughs> that kind of smelled like turd. Hey guys, happy spring. Mm. Kind of weird noise. Yep, okay. Sorry, I'll work on it. I think we're spring, maybe here mm. to stay. Maybe. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna make noises this whole time. Yes. Today we are gonna be making silk tie Easter eggs. Mmm. Yes. This was sent to us for a number of people wondering, is this actually real? So we're on the case. We didn't do it before because you don't wanna ruin a good tie. I found several ties that have been pre-ruined. So this is from Better Homes and Gardens. And look at these things. That is insane. Whoa. Do you think that this can be done by normal people? Or do you think you need like an advanced degree in crafting? Okay, prep the egg. Cut your silk tie into large pieces to cover the eggs. We're picking ties that have very vibrant colors and okay. patterns. Yeah, this one's pretty ugly. Oh, actually, I really like that. Yeah, oh, so oh, well, sorry. I know this from my tie making days. You start by cutting, like, we'll start with this and we'll cut this thing. I think you only need the bottom part of it. Yeah, fair enough. But see, look, I have these like- You have to take that out. Though. But this is, doesn't this look easter -y? It does look easter -y. We could use both sides this time. So just this much? Okay. Yeah. This is a large chunk. So look, we've got this. That's what your egg's gonna look like. Now, which one did your ex-girlfriend give you? So we've got one, two, two here. And that's from one tie. Look at us, guys. Ooh. That's the reality. Oh, hang on. Dude, this, this tie is so pretty. So that's a good thin one. But we'll see if maybe thick is better. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, gross. Honey. So now I'm gonna cut these t-shirts because we're gonna wrap the tie and then the cotton around it in a rubber band. So I'm gonna do that part. Well, you're gonna take that and cut it into four pieces. I'm unsure how big they should be, but they should be as, at least as big as the tie. Here's the thing. It says to wrap the egg mm -hmm. very tightly. May I see, please, what's going on here? Oh! With the pattern. So is the pattern gonna rub off on it? Yes. Really? That's what we're doing here. Okay, great. Welcome to well, Craft Busters. I, I just thought we were gonna like staple it on there or something, like staple a bunch of chickens together or something. So you do this and it has to be pretty tight, mm -hmm. allegedly. <laughs> we're gonna break all of the eggs. That's one. I don't know how to make it tight without crushing the egg. Make it grow. Doesn't that look better? Because I tied it off underneath here instead of the other side. Guys, we didn't break one single egg. Like, should we break one just for? Cook the eggs. Gently set your wrapped eggs and add six tablespoons of vinegar or Why didn't we cook the eggs before? because it has to soak in. We're gonna put that in here. Now we're gonna put cold water and cover like more than an inch, it has to be an inch over the eggs. And add about six tablespoons of vinegar, or five, six. Is that how you do tablespoons? <laughs> this is why all of my recipes turn out. And it said medium high heat until it boils for at least 20 minutes. So we've had these on the stove for 20 minutes. Now we're gonna take them out and kind of let them cool off. These have cooled down? Yeah. Why am I nervous? Uh, you always get nervous in these things. Are you sure we've kept them on for long enough? We followed the instructions from the internet. The internet told us to do it just like this. Oh, it smells terrible. Whoa, that, well, maybe a little longer. Sort of? Nah. I mean, womp, womp, womp. I think we just need to keep it on there longer. Here, oh wait, hang on. this is a darker one. You ready? <gasps> <laughs> we followed the instructions perfectly. Here, let's try ex-girlfriend out and see how that one worked. The ex-girlfriend's tie, she is perfect. 
Okay, ready? I feel good about this one. <sighs> That's the worst one. So the darker colors are equal parts better and worse. This one, I did not wrap up. This was a mommy wrap. Oh, there's nothing at all on it. It's amazing. I'll tell you one thing I've learned is the thicker fabric is a no-go. <sighs> nope. <laughs> we didn't do this for long enough. If we get one good, maybe they'll become more brilliant if we sit here and look at them for a little bit. So the darkest tie kind of worked. The thicker fabric was problematic. I think I can actually safely eat these though. I was gonna say, I think the good news is there's not enough dye on these to prohibit us from eating them. Absolutely. So, those are perfectly hard boiled. It tastes normal. You look very sad. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like I just wasted some stuff. We did everything, uh, we follow the directions. Yeah. I think that um, part of this segment is to figure out, like follow those things on the internet and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. I'm sure the people at Better Homes and Gardens did it perfectly, but maybe there was a step in the directions that wasn't quite clear. Yeah. So until that, I would save your silk ties. Thanks for watching. What else would you like us to try?